The number two Baker Wildcats are now 9-0 after their 49-0 shutout over Central Methodist this past weekend. The Wildcats are also 3-0 in a Hearts South Division play. J.D. Woods had a record-breaking performance for the Wildcats as he broke Baker's rushing yards in a single game with 313 yards, 28 attempts, and four touchdowns. Woods was also named the Heart Player of the Week. Today we'll be talking to offensive lineman Nuke Holden as he talks about the shutout game over Central Methodist and preview the upcoming game against Missouri Valley. So Newt, you guys had a really great game against Social Methodist. You guys had a 49-0 shutout over them. Tell us, and it was senior day. How special of a game was that for you? Yeah, it was awesome. You know, it's my fifth year here. Um, senior day's been a long time coming. But uh, yeah, it was a great day. Um, got a shutout, like you said. That's awesome, first one of the year. Um, and offense executed really well. And you know, scored almost 50 points. So it was a good game all around. Now you have been a part of Baker for, like you said, five years. Now what's it been like to be a part of this program history? And I know you've been a part of some history in the making as well and some record breaking. Now tell us, what's it been like to be um, a player for this team? Yeah, it's cool, you know, just being here so long and getting to see this team evolve from 2013 until now. You know, it's awesome and, you know, playing with, you know, guys like Logan and Clarence that have broken so many records and be a part of that is just so special to me and, you know, special to this team. It's just awesome. It's something I'll remember forever. So, yeah, it's awesome. All right. And then J.D. Woods. Now, he is a newcomer this year, and he has done an incredible job so far. What's it like been playing with him? Yeah, it's awesome. You know, J.D. brings, you know, a lot of speed to the table. He's a really fast running back. You know, he hits the hole hard. Um, you know, it's just uh, the O-line's job to get him some holes to break through, and, and he'll run and get the job done when he needs to. Right, and so this weekend we are playing Missouri Valley. So what do we need to do to get to a 10-0 record? They're, you know, Missouri Valley is always a tough team. Their record doesn't show it. They're 4-5, and five, but, you know, um, they're always a big physical team. They have a strong defense, so it's at their place. You know, we just got to come out fire and start fast and uh, you know, get the job done. Perfect. Well, thank you, Newt, and we look forward to watching you. Sounds okay. good. The Wildcats are set to take on Missouri Valley and Marshall, Missouri this weekend. Here's Baker Sports Information Director Tyler Price to talk to Coach Grossner and preview the upcoming game. Well, after a 49 to nothing shutout victory on Senior Day, Wildcats now geared towards Missouri Valley this Saturday. Um, Coach, let's talk about Senior Day. You know, your team put together a, a lot of great, great moments on offense and then especially on defense with the shutout. Uh, recap that victory for us. Yeah, I thought our kids played really well. You know, it, uh, that day's tough because you, you get out of your routine in the warm up. You've got family out on the field. You've got seniors thinking about 100 different things. Uh, we started a little slow, but uh, took the lead in the first quarter. And in the, the second quarter, we played really well, both sides of football. Had a chance at the end of the half to punch another one in, didn't. But I thought we went in at halftime, make, made some good adjustments, and came out and played lights out in the second half. We had some guys, you know, our, our tailback, J.D. Woods, had a career day, uh, set an all-time record, which is going to be tough to break, 313 yards. I thought Marco, for with his first start, played very well. You know, it was 31 of 37 and uh, was able to, you know, Throw the, throw the nice underneath football, didn't press and go deep. They were playing a uh, three-man coverage over the top and, and keeping everything in front of them. He did a nice job of uh, delivering the football to a lot of guys. Yeah, I was going to ask you about Marco Aguinaga. He, um, he looked very comfortable out there and uh, seemed to, to have good presence out there you know, on the field and off with his teammates. Uh, you know, just talk about Marco and, and the type of player you've seen so far. Yeah, he's had a lot of success in his career, high school career, and he came here and he worked his tail off and battled for a position. And then as you get through the season, we were trying to redshirt him. And so he had to stay prepared, but you know, anybody's going to kind of lose an edge uh, not thinking they're going to play. And so I think he was at that moment in Avila and all of a sudden got thrown in the fire and performed well at Avila. But this was his first start, and that's a whole different deal. That's where you prepare all week. You are the guy. You're taking all the reps. Your leadership qualities need to come out. Uh, that's one thing I think will come from him as we continue to play is, is a little more leadership. Uh, I think he's a type of guy that does it by his actions and earns it by the way he plays and prepares, so that'll be okay. Uh, Logan you know, is, is our verbal leader. And uh, so we're, we're in that little bit of a change. 
but but it's good. They're, they're, uh, the young man's playing well and preparing himself well. Uh, defensively, I think we've hit a pretty good stride here, uh, which is helping our football team. You know, to shut out CMU and, and not allow their quarterback to have a big day was huge. I thought we played great against Mid America on defense and, and against Avila. So uh, I think we're finding the pieces. We need to get a couple guys back. Adario Ammons will be back this week, which is a big help on the D line. And then we're shuffling a couple guys at linebacker and DM, but it's working out. Yes, your team is coming off a shutout victory, but Missouri Valley is coming off a game in which they were shut out by Evangel 21 0. Um, you know, talk about Missouri Valley, always a tough place to play. Um, you know, they've got Jake Bridges, again, a quarterback who's a returner. Um, but yeah, talk about Missouri Valley and, and what you've seen so far. Yeah, I really don't think it'll matter what happened last week. Uh, they're going to be ready for us. This has been a long time. Hey, the, the winner of this game moves on, or both of us are in the playoffs, but it's for seedings. Uh, we've got to go there. They're going to be prepared to knock us off. Jake Bridges, like you said, is an exciting football player, quarterback. Yeah, on film, what I'm seeing from them is they were young up front, but they're getting better. Their skill is as good as they've been. Uh, defensively, they're a little bit young. And uh, so Monty, uh, their defensive coordinator, is having to uh, simplify some things and, and let their guys just play because they're athletic. So. Uh, it's going to be a barn burner, you know, throw, throw the records out. That's a hard place to play. We're going to have to show up and be real good. Yeah, it's a showcase of the two winningest football programs in NAI history. And, you know, you've been here 14 years and played Missouri Valley in, in all different um, atmospheres here and there. Um, you know, talk about what this rivalry means in the heart, uh, especially, you know, nationally. Yeah, when I first got here, uh, I knew about them. And of course, Paul's been there the whole time, their head coach, and um, they've had some great football teams. They've had Final Four teams uh, throughout. They've been very consistent, a playoff contender every year. We kind of measured them as, hey, that's where we want to get. And now that we've played each other, this will be the 14th time uh, in my career here. I think we're about even or close. And. Uh, you know, their teams are just so dynamic in many ways. And, you know, we've had some barn burners. We had one here last year. We had a great football team last year undefeated. And Mo Val came in here and about took it away from us. We had to get the ball in the end, drive it down, and score to win the game. And, and so our guys need to be ready from the get-go, and they need to be able to finish this week. Well, thank you, Coach. Kickoff set for 1.30 on Saturday. We will uh, see you in Marshall this Saturday. Awesome. Thanks.